15 seconds. Here comes Mitchell. Go Bear! Utah takes the lead. And it's fitting. Give the ball to the big fella. Hayward lowers his shoulder. The shot is away. The bounce is off the rim. And flying in is Mr. Big Shot. Millsap is a miracle worker. With the 27th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Denver Nuggets select Rudy Gobert from saint Coutin, France. The Atlanta Hawks organization for this opportunity, and I, I believe it's going to be special. This is definitely, you know, where I want to be, definitely where I want to continue my career, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this upcoming season. Tend to shoot, finds a seam, takes it down the lane, put it up, and in! Strong move, Fish tried to halt his progress, and Hayward will shoot a free throw. I got more and more comfortable with the idea of being the head coach. Uh, I went into the process wanting the job. I know Salt Lake, uh, what a great community is, what a great family community is. With the fifth pick in the 2014 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Dante Exum from Melbourne, Australia. You know, when you do sign the, sign the long-term deal or the three-year deal or four-year or whatever, um, it kind of just takes the burden off you a little bit. It just gives you a little relief, but I don't think it, it affects the way you play. You should go out and play your best. What I can do and what I can bring to the group, just helping offensively, defensively, with rules, with breakdowns, in timeouts, what guys see on the court. Obviously a pretty young team, so kind of help wherever I can. Looking for a cutter, fires it off to Hayward. On a dribble, on a step back, the jumper. Yes! Bedlam, the new money man! Knocks down the winner! With the 12th pick in the 2015 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Trey Lyles from Saskatoon, Canada, and the University of Kentucky. Three seconds of play, down to two, on a step back, Jay. Yes! Hayward knocks down the winner! Johnson has signed a two-year, $22 million deal with the Utah Jazz, who just missed out on the playoffs in 2016. The seven-time All-Star played for the Nets in Heat last season, averaging almost 12 points and four assists while shooting 44% from the field. And you got a Boris DL, NBA champ, coming off your bench. Young guys like Alec Burks, who's a great sixth man, and Trey Lyles to go along with Joe Johnson as your bench. That means right. your starting unit sure. is very good. They should make the playoffs. I feel like even though we didn't, I mean, we, we fell short. I feel like uh, it's very encouraging. You know, we. Get a lot better. I think every team that played us respect us. Also, a first time All Star for the West from the Utah Jazz. Give it up for Gordon Hayward. Gets it back, seven to shoot. Hill drives, nice feet to go there. Oh, go there with the left hand. Over Porsche. He's earned it tonight, this afternoon. Rising majestically with the left hand. Joe Johnson with four. Johnson with two. Drives in. This is game one, Western Conference semifinals. As Curry does his magic, gets by the and scores. With that Curry flare. With the 13th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Denver Nuggets select Donovan Mitchell from the University of Louisville that they know who they're going to target tonight. They cleared Ricky Rubio off of their salary cap, knowing that they're going to be able to make a deal with a point guard very quickly here. Gordon Hayward this year, they've started to establish themselves again as a destination franchise in the league. This is a team that Danny Ainge and Brad Stevens has to believe can compete for an Eastern Conference Championship. Dream come true, really. Fighting for that last roster spot, not knowing what to expect coming into the season. Just working hard each day, growing as a person on and off the court. It's on me to let make sure that show the show the world that they made the right decision. And I, my work ethic won't change. If I, in fact, I'll probably work ten times harder. And uh, I'm just willing to compete and and go out there and just play for all the Jazz fans and the Jazz organization. Runs it to Burks, catch and shoot three, no rebound. Oh my! 
defense played by who? Mitchell. An absolute How high is amazing, that young man? Amazing dunk here. And they package Rodney Hood along with him, who's a very good player for Jay Crowder in return. Maybe Drake Crowder can revitalize his career there, but you're losing a very, very good score in the future with Rodney Hood. Every day is, is, a, is a surprise for me. It, just being in the NBA is, is crazy. And then also after every bucket that I, that I make or every pass or whatever, it's kind of like, whoa, the I just did that. And every play, it's been, it's been, it's been awesome. K3 season is over. Utah advances to take on Houston. Donovan Mitchell with a career night. Understand that we were doubted. You know, in December we had a tough schedule. Nobody thought we were kind of overlooked, you know. And that's how a lot of us have been in our in our careers. So we just took it uh took it to them and um, they're a great team. They're a great team, but we play well. Fighting for a spot to the Western Conference Finals, you know, so. Uh, I'm so proud, you know, of what what we've accomplished as a team, as a group, as a staff, and uh, I, I'm just excited, you know, for the future. And the 2018 Kia NBA Defensive Player of the Year award goes to Rudy Gobert, Utah Jazz. We can have an expectation that we're going to be good or an expectation that we're not going to be good. Neither one of them have any real impact until you start playing. The chemistry, the things that we've learned, um, but this is a new team. They're competing at both ends. Oh, God. Oh! Climbing up and popping the rim. ESPN. Here comes your play of the day tomorrow. Unbelievable. That'll do it. Houston's going to advance. The Rockets have withstood the pressure of the upstart Jazz. They're going to the second round, winning game five by seven. It's a team game, and uh, you know when you have guys that bring it out every night, you know, coming every day with the same focus, and compete like we do, uh, it's inspirational. Partnering Mike Conley with Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert. Needed another playmaker, another player who could take some offensive pressure. Their opportunity to move up in the West, he, he's a perfect fit for them. Bogdanovich also gives them something that they haven't had, a stretch four. He's he's a three four, but he's got the defensive acumen to play the, the four, especially the way the league is going. Now they got some shooting in that team. It's dangerous. They don't have any mountains down here like they do in Utah. Um, it's just a lot different, but like I said, I'm excited. I'm, I, look, I enjoyed my time in Utah, but now you know, I'm ready for this new chapter. Bringing in Mike Conley, you kept your core guys together. I think this team is, is set defensively. The only concern, like I said earlier, is do they need another big guy to help out Rudy Gobert for foul trouble or maybe some little ankle injury down the season? Clarkson, though, may really help Utah. You know, he can shoot the ball better. Fifth pick in the draft, I just never could figure out what he could do. I think coming off the bench, Utah may have gotten a player that's going to help them more. This first time All-Star, oh, contraire, mon frère, from the Utah Jazz, the Stifle Tower, Rudy Gobert. First time All-Star from the Utah Jazz, Donovan Spider Mitchell. And now we have just learned that a second jazz player, Donovan Mitchell, has tested positive for the virus. There are also reports that before getting tested, Rudy was careless in the locker room, touching other players and their belongings. NBA play is suspended, and then the league is going to use that hiatus to decide their next steps, how they'll go forward. But this is the last night of NBA games for the foreseeable future. So if Donovan Mitchell was mad, that's the reason he was mad. He wasn't mad that he acquired the virus from somebody. He was mad that he acquired it because somebody was insensitive and was playing around and stuff like that. Trying to get it in, having trouble. Bogdanovich, tough shot, he went in! The Utah Jazz have won it! Bojan Bogdanovich with only his second three-pointer of the game. He's sitting on 47. He'll pull the three. He's got the three. 50-point game. First time in history. Opponents score 50 apiece, but this one belongs to the Utah Jazz. Mitchell hanging at the other end. Two seconds to go for the win, and it rims out. Denver hangs on. Final score. Honestly, just too many things to even, you know, put into a sentence. I think for me, um, just overall joy and excitement, you know, years and years of hard work and dedication finally paying off.
keep continue to grow here, keep continue to do great things here in Utah. Definitely didn't want to, you know, leave these guys. It's a, uh, it's crazy how fast I connected with these guys. It's been great for me, and I just didn't want to lose that either. Rudy Gobert isn't going anywhere, and he's getting paid. The Jazz and the two-time Defensive Player of the Year have agreed to a five-year, $205 million contract extension that makes Rudy the highest-paid center in NBA history. I mean, he got $200 million, Shaq. $200. I'm, I'm not going to hate, but this should be an inspiration to all the little kids out there. If you average 11 points in the NBA, you can get two hundred. million. <laughs> you've got defense on the interior you've got defense on the perimeter and you've got a cat like Donovan Mitchell who's a flat out stud Mike Conley has been playing well Bogdanovich was a big time pickup I just look at them right now in terms of their depth final minute Bogey getting some work oh my the one hand he goes up and he tucks it right over Merrill not only are they playing crazy, unselfish basketball, moving the ball, passing up good shots, extremely well-coached team, and a well-oiled machine on both sides of the floor. They're the best team right now. 23-22 Utah. Ooh. Come on, Donovan. Oh, oh no, he didn't. Yes, he did. Oh, that's... oh no, he didn't. Watch that all night. So they just announced that Jordan Clarkson named Sixth Man of the Year and the crowd on their feet and we're going to watch Quinn Snyder congratulate. Does on a low pass. Shot clock at two. Nurkic goes it. Gobert missed it. Got it back. Like he was going to get it down. I mean, he is just going to dismiss Gobert, but look at Rudy. Send it back, big man. So they're eliminated after taking the first game. Four straight for the number one seed. The first time they've ever been for the number one seed. The Utah Jazz. And they're on their way to the second round. Donovan Mitchell is a superstar. Averaging, four, I mean, what is it? Averaging like 41 in this series or 52% yes. shooting. Averaging over 32 a game for the postseason. Undefeated with him in the starting lineup. will win their fourth straight game in this series. And now they'll just dribble it out. Final seconds here at Staples Center. It's official. The LA Clippers are going to the conference finals. The Jazz get their man. Mike Conley has agreed to a three-year, $68 million deal, which could grow to $72 million if incentives are reached to stay with the Jazz. Uh, buying, they're fine. I think Rudy Gay's a, little, a small upgrade a, as a backup four, and I think they discovered, you know, $10 million for a backup center is not a wise use of our resources, so Hassan Whiteside, here you come on the middle. Donovan Mitchell says this is the biggest season in his five years with the Jazz. With the additions of Hassan Whiteside, Eric Paschal, and especially Rudy Gay, the Jazz can go 10 or 11 deep. I think having capable people around him and having a roster that is certainly an elite one in the league and maybe there's some tweaks to be made, you know, as they try to make that next step to get out of the West. Guess who snuck up and tied the Warriors for the best net rating in the entire NBA? The Utah Jazz. When everyone wasn't watching, the Jazz are killing people. Number one offense, and I, Shanae, you nailed it. Donovan Mitchell, this is the best regular season stretch of Donovan Mitchell's career. The scoring is Joe Ingles goes, and listen, there's a chance certainly that he finds his way back to Utah. He's had a great run in Utah, intertwined in that community, but uh, he'll rehab that ACL. Now, this is a team that's been without not just Donovan Mitchell since January 17th, but they've missed Rudy Gobert with a calf strain. There's hope that he can be back by early next week, perhaps. Their head coach, Quinn Snyder, one of the best in the league, is in COVID protocol. So he, he rises up on that three, leans back a little bit. That's on block for Carla Medic. No ankles were broken in the filming of this video. <laughs> or were they? Or were they? Oops! <laughs> Herbert Jones says, what happened to me? For the first time since 2011, when the Mavericks won the title, they are advancing in the playoffs. They hold off the Jazz and take this first round series in six. The Utah Jazz make me sick because they repeatedly underachieve. The Utah Jazz find ways, they invent ways to screw up whatever expectations. They continuously fall short of expectations year after year after year. And so him turning the job down to me indicates like this team needs to be blown up. Like I, I don't see any other factor behind it other than it doesn't work in Utah.
It doesn't. Why would the Jazz do that? Why would the Jazz, who have two stars on their roster, mm -hmm. take a player who's one of their starters and best defensive players and trade him in a salary dumping move? The three-time Defensive Player of the Year has spent his entire nine-year career in Utah. No longer in exchange for Rudy Gobert, the Jazz will receive multiple first-round picks along with a haul of players. The Utah Jazz have traded Donovan Mitchell to the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Jazz will receive three unprotected first-round picks along with two pick swaps in exchange for the three-time All-Star. They also get Lori Markin and Colin Sexton. Pistons are finalizing a trade to acquire veteran forward Bojan Bogdanovic from the Utah Jazz in exchange for Kelly Olynyk and Saban Lee. Now you see Laurie out here balling, doing all of this stuff. Now let's get to the Jazz. They need to stop whatever they're doing. They do have a ton of nice pieces, <laughs> but if anybody on this panel can sit up here and tell us a top 10 free agent that they've ever brought in, they have to do it via the draft. It's definitely tough. It's not um, something that you prepare for all the time. It's definitely a you know something that can happen, and you try to tell your wife and kids, like, any moment we could be somewhere else. A lot more draft picks, more money to spend. Yeah, shopping spree, you know, bring people in that we're looking at for the 28th pick, that we can tell them that we're looking at them for the ninth pick. <laughs> <laughs>